Expect strong to isolated severe storms on Thursday and soggy at times. Good Wednesday night, East Tennessee. David Aldrich, Captain Accurate here from the Captain Accurate Weather Command Center. Well, you'll notice most of the heavier rains this evening have been south of Nashville. There were a few severe thunderstorm warnings there in yellow that faded away, but uh, they're getting the bulk of the rain. And eventually, if it's slow to get in here, it's going to be slow to exit, which means I think it will be filling in tonight. So we'll get some showers and storms tonight and more so on Thursday. Our high temperature came in at 86 degrees. That was five degrees above normal. Last night I was expecting 85 this morning because I thought more rain would be present. We get to 83, but either way, I was off by three degrees or one degree. Record high 93 from 1933. It was 85 in Oak Ridge, but only 81 in Kingston. Mid to upper 70s in the plateau today, but 85 in Middlesbrough, Bell County. It was 80 in Nashville, 76 in Jackson, and 77 in Memphis. You can see from the tracking of the clouds, the visible satellite image. Uh, does, it does fades away a little bit toward the last frame or two as the sun's getting low in the sky, uh, but we have more clouds on the way. Uh, as evidence from the IR or the infrared satellite image, more clouds, the thicker ones in blue, are beginning to fill back in. But this will be a very large storm system, slow moving as it may be, but tapping into some of the moisture in the Gulf of Mexico. Let me show you not one, but two future rainfall graphics. The first one suggests about three quarters of an inch of rain around Knoxville. Uh, through Friday morning, let's say, maybe at over an inch in Oak Ridge and about two inches in Crossville. But again, this is going to depend. Slide number two suggests it's going to depend on where these storms take up residence, where they uh, set up shop. And here, maybe about an inch and a quarter falls in Knoxville during the same time frame and not two inches, but only one inch in Crossville. So there can be some variance even in the data this close up. Storm Prediction Center shows some darker greens and yellows on the map I'm about to show you. This goes through tonight. So still some scattered severe storms near Chicago and northern Indiana. Uh, but if we slide down to the south, places like New Orleans, as well as Mobile and Gulfport might have some scattered severe storms for the rest of tonight and some isolated strong severe storms around Jamestown and then west of Crossville. But the light green, just some run of the mill thunderstorms still on the uh, table for tonight. But once we move into tomorrow and after 8 o'clock in the morning, the outlook changes from the Storm Prediction Center, puts more of the scattered severe storms in yellow in places like Cincinnati, Columbus, even Lexington, which I'm watching closely. Also, Nashville, LaFollette, and Knoxville, all of us in East Tennessee under the level one marginal risk for isolated severe storms, but does not, I repeat, does not include the Tri-Cities or Green County, for example. Uh, but even though there might be an isolated strong severe storm, that could include a tornado. So well, well, how do you know that? We'll look at further under the hood. The tornado risk from the Storm Prediction Center has most, if not all, of East Tennessee under that tornado risk, with the exception of Greene County and the Tri-Cities for a 2% chance. It's not a zero chance, but a 2% chance that some of those spin ups could occur. And we want to be watchful of that. So headlines isolated severe tomorrow. It'll be soggy Thursday. Rain on Friday will be less intense as the front moves to the east, but we still could get some showers and spotty rain to the east on Saturday. We did get a tornado uh, reported early this morning from down into the panhandle of Florida. Now there's a lot of text there, but the storm survey team found scattered locations of wind damage across the Pensacola area. So uh, there were some tornadoes, but you'll notice uh, in this system, still connected down there, uh, isn't widespread, but one, if, if, even if we had two tornadoes in Tennessee tomorrow, when you want to know about it. A lot of wind damage reports that may be more common. That's why it's so important that you get weather information in real time. May I suggest the Captain Accurate weather app now with Pete Michaels traffic. It's got a new look and it's got a new update. Oh, yes, you got the current conditions now as uh, featured here on the screen. It's got these tabs, very easy to access the currents, the hourly, the daily temperature and the radar. And while it is an update to the existing app, you still get all the life uh, saving uh, real time weather alerts, including all the National Weather Service alerts in addition to the twisting storm approaching uh, with a BTI score, uh, dangerous storm approaching with a BTI score, and the storms in your area, and the lightning alerts. I mean, there's just so many things this app has uh, that uh, just, I think, is uh, second to none. But when you look at the pink areas, this is from May 18th. That's the severe thunderstorm watch that was in Kentucky 
on the 18th of May. Very easy to see and very easy to navigate. So definitely download that. It's an update again to the existing app. Let me show you not one but two future casts. This shows you through tomorrow morning right through 815. This will be filling in. I'm going to zoom in a little bit tighter, but this shows you the cold front. Where is the cold front at three o'clock Thursday afternoon? It's back toward Nashville. Like I said, slow to get in here, slow to leave. And some of those red areas might be a little rough and tumble weather. Severe storms might be rolling through Cookville at that time. And then by 1015, we're still dealing with some downpours. And then by eight o'clock Friday morning, I said it would be less intense. That's because the fronts move to our east. And what we get is some wraparound moisture. Not all that will reach the ground, but it will keep it a little bit less settled, let's say, on Saturday morning in the Smokies. And then we'll see some improvement, I think, for the rest of your weekend. I think Sunday looks great. So future cast for us closer up shows the rain filling in later tonight. Uh, downpours maybe by 1 o'clock in the morning, Morristown, Newport. Then by 7 a.m. Thursday, some downpours around Jamestown, Wartburg, and some red areas between La Follette and Middlesboro. That's noontime tomorrow. But generally, temperatures in the mid to upper 70s. Wouldn't surprise me if some of you hit uh, 80 tomorrow. Uh, but again, if these showers continue to parade in, as I suspect they will, uh, we're going to continue to find unsettled weather right through Friday afternoon and Friday evening. There will be some other downpours trying to form as we'll be watching this uh, begin to spin through. 60 degrees in Sevierville there. That's what, 5 a.m. Friday? It's still raining hard there and in through Newport and Greenville. But then by, say, Friday morning at 8.30, most of us are dry. If we get some spots of rain, it might come in with the wraparound. But not all the models are uh, sold on the solution of how much wraparound arrives. Tonight, we're down to 65, mostly cloudy showers and storms, light and variable winds. Tonight's temperature, about 65. It's humid in Morristown, 67 in Teleco Plains, 67 in Maryville. Thursday, a pair of seven showers and storms. Some could be strong, isolated, severe, and in the absence of storms, about 5 to 10 plus out of the southwest. 77 in Knoxville, 80 in Newport, 79 in La Follette, 76 in Kingston. My expectation. Here's my Captain Accurate Weather Authority forecast for Knoxville and East Tennessee. Soggy at times tomorrow. That's an understatement. Showers and storms on Friday, 75. Keeping it in the mid-70s on Saturday. Spots of rain east, but then we're going to jump 10 degrees, every bit of 10 degrees on Sunday, mostly sunny 85. And of course, Memorial Day holiday itself, the unofficial start of summer, hazy sunshine and warm at 88. And then we should be flirting with 90 by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So a lot to unpack there, but make sure you download the Captain Accurate Weather. I mentioned it's free. Uh, it's partnered by my friend Pete Michaels Traffic. Weather and traffic perfect together and at your fingertips. So happy to have you here. My name is David Aldridge. Some people call me Captain Accurate. It's not easy being accurate, so weather doesn't surprise you. We'll see you here next time. Take care.